There was only one piece of technology that I could use to start the channel, Tech Throwback. And this is it. This is my first cell phone, the Kyocera SE47. Today, we're gonna unbox it, talk about this phone, and see what it was like to uh, live through one of the first sliders at the very beginning of the cellular data revolution. So let's open this thing up to kick it off. First, we've got this box. This is the Verizon Wireless SE47, as you can see. We've got an oddly Owen Wilson looking character there playing Tetris on his SE47. We've got the slide open there. You can see that you can play cool games right on the front of it. And uh, pretty much all it says on the box is games and get it now and get games and get messaging. Verizon branded everything, get text, get email, get IM, they get everything basically. And you can also get browsing, get alerts, get flicks, get pics, you can get everything with your SE47. I mean, this was your ticket to the world. Anyway, uh, we've got unique design, slide down to close, slide up to open, huge clock on the display, color screen. Let's talk about the features over here on the side. The only things that really matter here, 65,000 color display, compact when closed, slides up to full size, speakerphone and voice activated dialing. Voice activated dialing was pretty cool back then. I mean, voice control was still a pipe dream and still is today, honestly, but uh, it's better, it's better. Let's open this box up, see what we've got here. We'll just pour out the contents. I picked this thing up on eBay for $20. When I bought this phone new, I think it was $149. I owned the Virgin Mobile One, which was silver and was also co-branded with MTV because you could do all of the MTV generation things on that phone. That's That was really its claim to fame. So we've got the phone right here. We've got another battery right here. We've got a charger. We've got another battery right here. Man, how many batteries do I get for this thing? These are 3.7 volt lithium ion packs and they don't list the milliamp hours on them. But if I remember right, it was about three and a half hours of talk time, use time uh, in reality, and you know, 11 hours of standby or something like that. Uh, since it's in my hand, let's, and I just showed you guys, let's talk about the sliding mechanism real quick. Most sliders have like a two-way spring in them. So it slides up and pops up and when you're halfway down, it pops down while you're sliding it. So it's a really cool action. This isn't it. This is literally just two sliding strips. There's no spring. And I had kind of forgotten that it worked like that. I bought two of them. And this is another one. Look at that. There is no two-way spring in there. It's actually an SE44. We're gonna talk about it in just a moment. So let's continue talking about the good old SE47. Throw a battery on here and let's power this thing up and just marvel at its boot time and all of its sounds. It also has an extendable antenna. The display, like I said, is 65,000 colors. It should turn on any second, there it goes. And this is an STN display. You saw how slowly the display turned on. It's horribly slow. The response time there, it would, it'll honestly blow your mind. STN displays are such a cheap, old school technology. You got Vibrate, Slider, Verizon Wireless. I remember you could just put this thing on the antenna and spin it. There was always something to do. It was a very fidgety phone, which was great. Anyway, it's done booting up now. We've got the Verizon Wireless. Uh, it still shows 1X service. It may actually be able to at least call 911. It, it was like a digital phone, CDMA, two bands of CDMA on here, and uh, 1X RTT data. 1X RTT, if you remember that, was basically dial up for your cell phone. It could do 144 kilobits a second, but typically was about 60 to 80 kilobits a second. Slightly faster than your old dial up modem at home. If you don't remember dial up, uh, I'm happy that you didn't have to live through that. Old school phone, slide up, it lights up, the menu comes to life. Uh, there's a button here that turns on the speaker and it says speaker is on and every single system sound plays through the speaker. You can hold the pound sign to shut off vibrate. We'll turn on the system speaker again and now we can hear every system sound through the speaker, which is a really weird option. I don't know why it was designed like that, but playing every system sound in the speaker is a thing on this phone. I've really never seen that on any other phones. And now that the sound is on, we have slide open and slide closed sounds. <laughs> what a crazy feature. I hope I never turn that feature on on mine. So we've got a few ports on this thing, a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, of course, typically everything's 3.5. Back then we'd have 2.5 to 3.5 adapters. So you could use your headset, like a wired headset with this phone. Uh, it doesn't have Bluetooth. And there's also 
one more plug on here. They're both supposed to be covered with little rubber plugs, but in here we have an external antenna port with this little rubber plug in it that's very hard to get back in. Um, I've never seen an external antenna for one of these. I'm sure you could buy one, but I don't know if it's gonna buy you anything with this old phone. All right, I got it back in there. The only other things to note on the outside of this phone, other than its cool color and the fact that it doesn't snap up and down when it slides, has a little four-way D-pad right there with an OK button in the middle. In call and power, and you've got an answer call and also two navigation buttons right there. And I don't think, yep, slide phone open for operation. You can't use those buttons while it's closed. So that's an overview of the phone itself. We'll dive into the menus here in just a moment. Let's take a look at what else this phone came with. Got a little cardboard sleeve there. Do not take notes or look up phone numbers while driving. We've got some Verizon stuff here. We got a little disc from Verizon, getting to know your new phone and service for the SE47. QRF and the entire user's manual, which is uh, pretty detailed for the 50 functions this phone has. This thing also came with a gigantic wall charger, 5.2 volts DC output, 400 milliamp hour, and Kyocera's proprietary connector that was data, power, everything else. It's got something like 20 pins in it. Only four pins are used for charging. Uh, later on, of course, that went away and we got nicer, small chargers that are far more portable. We're gonna dive into the menus on this next, but first let's talk about the SE44. This is blue, it was on Altel's network, and it has one major issue that I get why they did it, but I think it makes it a far, far worse phone. On the Verizon model, of course, we have an OK button in the middle of the navigation, which just makes sense. It's how your brain is used to using all devices with a four-way D-pad. This one, instead of having OK, OK moves over here to the side, and becomes a hard button with clear on the other side. It has a push to talk button on the center key. I'm glad mine wasn't like that. It was very confusing when this one showed up, the SE44 instead of the 47, but I did find out that is a dedicated push to talk button for Altel's network. So you can use the old walkie talkie function, you know, push or hold it down and talk to people like you're using a walkie talkie. Push to talk was a big deal back then with Nextel uh, just advertising push to talk like it was a game changer for the world. And eventually, as we know, it basically went away. So I'm glad that didn't make it into the SE47s. This phone is definitely still connecting to Verizon's network. Uh, you can stick the battery on it and it does connect to the network and get time and date. So it at least partially could still work in 2022, which is mind blowing. It supported SMS and EMS for picture messaging. Of course, there's no camera on this phone. So you'd be downloading pictures from the internet or something like that and then sending them to your friends. It worked great for memes. It has predictive text in addition to T9. And in the menu here, we've got recent calls, contacts, messages, settings, media gallery, tools, which includes calculators and alarm clocks, and phone info, the Brew web browser, and Get It Now, which is Verizon's store for getting everything, as I said before. There's actually a few downloads left behind on this phone. We've got Love Life Tarot, Sony Music Box, settings and help. Let's see if any of these load up. I bet it looks like the Love Life one is going to load, which is pretty funny. It was designed by Mobile Mind in 2003. This phone is from the 2004-ish era, so that makes sense. Consult the Terran. Love life today. Ace of coins. I, I have no idea what any of this means. You could download ringtones or use the polyphonic ringtones that were built into the SE47. Let's see what we've got here. Play. Yeah. <laughs> There's really not much in here. A bunch of empty slots for music. A bunch of empty slots for music. That was a lot of storage back in the day. Mostly just sounds like that. So I do want to go in here and see if we can find any other sounds in the actual sound settings here. Voice memos, a scheduler, calendar in this thing, alarm clock, a tip calculator, and a calculator and a timer and a stopwatch. Those are the tools that are included. So things that you would expect on basically everything nowadays. They were features back in the day. That is basically a complete walkthrough of the Kyocera SE47 slider. My first phone, it was of course prepaid. I was paying like 10 cents a text message, probably 10 cents a kilobyte as well. And uh, what, you bought 250 minutes at a time with Virgin Mobile, something like that. And you got cool sounds like this. It was available on a bunch of carriers, a color screen. It was really slow, but hey, lightweight, 
very reasonable price, and it had the cool factor we were looking for back in 2003, 2004. Thank you guys so much for watching Tech Throwback, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.